Okay, hey there ladies and gents of YouTube, welcome back to another Asian Robot Build video. Now today I actually wanted to showcase a deck that I put together for shits and giggles, but it actually turned out pretty good. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, okay, you can see my levels here. Um, and basically the first thing I want to do is let you know what equipment I'm using. So this build is for literally summoning creatures with literally everything. <laughs> Well, you summon tokens, but you know, you get what I mean. So first is the headdress of a cult. Um, you get a 1-1 white-black human cleric token for 10 seconds, okay? Every time you kill with a foe with your primary attack. Happens more often than you think. Activate your utility. You get a 6-1 elemental token with uh, greater swiftness. All right, that's a lightning elemental. It's actually pretty good. I really like this one, but I haven't had a chance to upgrade it a lot. Wrist wraps of blight. Activate mana surge, which you'll be using with this build. You get a 2-2 green ooze creature token with uh, retaliate. That uh, that one's fun. Drop below 80% max health, which it happens often. 2-2-2 two, two, two green wolf tokens for 20 seconds. Still pretty good. And the it's just resolute ring for the loadout. Now, you can stack on more summons here if you want to, but I chose not to. And this one's for your secondary because I like my secondary. So, Selvok armlet, armlet and uh, the resolute ring. Okay. Artifact-wise, Dragonic Flux for summoning. All right, now you may be thinking, wait, 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 you don't even have, you're not using Spellstorm in this build? What the hell is this for? I'll show you. It's still, still pretty okay. Liquid Foresight. Now you could use, um, the alternative would be Implement of Combustion, but it's just funnier with Dragonic Flux. All right, Liquid Foresight. Um, whenever you cast a creature spell, 5% Reflect. Okay. Um, Reflect percent is increased by 2.5% per non-token creature you control. So this is pretty good because the deck that you'll be using, right, will have other creatures in it. Whenever you cast a spell costing blue mana, stun nearby foes. This is just a filler until you get Orb of Shiv. This build is better with Orb of Shiv, but I just, you know, threw it in there. Shard of Power for the Spark Recharge Speed and Chromatic Sorcery Potency. Chromatic Sorcery Potency and Red and Blue Potency, which you'll be using in this deck. And this one's to increase your blue powers because you and control rating, so Salve of Winter. Okay, Wizard's Tome, Salve of Winter, Shard of Power. Okay, this one this one will be changed out, like I said. Because um, this is not necessary. You, you'll be using your Orb of Shiv for this one. There, there's some other stuff you could put in there, but again, not necessary. Oops, sorry. Artifacts are done. Now, traits. From the Necromancer, I put in Necrotic Burst because this one summons weak creatures that if they die, it's more helpful because they give 200% of their damage. Um, might from Unity, whenever you summon a creature, you gain lesser might. Heart of Iron can actually be substituted for the uh, um, the Mind Mage's trait. Uh, casting non-creature spells grants plus one plus one to a random creature you control. So this can actually be pretty insane considering how many spells you'll be casting. But again, it is um, it is like if you don't have it yet, you can just throw in whatever. Um, but yeah, the two essential one, the one essential one is Necrotic Burst. And you'll probably want the Psychic Prowess. Uh, this one's the Demir Assassin trait if you happen to get lucky enough to get it. Might from Unity is pretty good, but... Ideally, like, if I didn't have this one from the booster pack that I got, I would have put in Psychic pow uh, Prowess, Heart of Iron, and Necrotic Burst. Heart of Iron is just like a... In case you die, but, you know, kind of dealio. Probably the Beast Caller. I haven't seen the Beast Caller trait, so maybe that might be cool. But, like I said, this is what I got, so the only key one here, I'd say, is Necrotic Burst, because you want your creatures to die and be helpful. Okay, creatures. Now, this this comes with three creature spells, so that when your Dragonic Flux, all right, your artifact goes up to um, rank 20, you basically have your dragons for 21 seconds, which is not bad. Okay, so, number one creature spell, Emberlings. Why? They explode when they die. Th that's useful. And you summon three. So it's, it's pretty cheap for 4 mana. This one. If you draw a spell, you get more illusion creature tokens. Useful. Okay. And your goblin war chief is literally just there to buff other creatures by plus 1 slash 0. So it gives them more power so when they explode, uh, reflect, retaliate, whatever. This is all. This is helpful to you. And uh, again, it will go well with Orb of Shiv. Alright. Then you've got your spells. I use Earth Spike, Goblin Bombardment, Icicle, Icy River, Tidal Wave, Phantasmagoria, Tornado, Bathe in Dragonfire if you don't have it, substitute it out for something else, and Lava Vortex. All right, Bathe in Dragonfire is a mythic, so you may not have that one. But other than that, I don't use any like super special spells. 
Now, if you want to look at red and blue and see all the various kinds of spells in there, the one spell which I might add into the deck later is the is the big Kamehameha one, and that might replace Earth Spike. Um, but yeah, other than that, there isn't really anything else that I've thought about using heavily. Um, Molten Shell, maybe, if I really, really want to. I, I might consider like tossing this in, but that's only because uh, Molten Shell is good defensively. Um, again, it's not a necessity. You can also like... I've also got Earth Shatter. I've got quite a few spells that you can just throw in there. Like another good one is Magma Burst. This is actually really, really good. But I've not really thought about using it often because I spam other spells instead. The Magma Burst is pretty good. Um, yeah, you want you want a balance between spamming and non-spamming. And since I already put Bathe in Dragonfire, otherwise I would substitute probably with Magma Burst because I do have a lot of damage over time. So that one's a good one to have. Goblin Bombardment is also really useful. So, okay, that's that's what we've got for now. Um, and how this deck works is basically everything you do is going to summon additional creatures to help you and help you do the monster mash. So I'm going to show it to you in action. So although mine is only level 24, he's actually succeeded in expert solo for the mana rig. So we'll just go in there to showcase uh, how it works and you know what happens when this build goes to action. So let's see a bit of that, shall we? Let's see a bit of that. Okay, Squee, you bum weasel. On it! Let's go. Into the mana rig. Okay, so I'll go through this as quickly as possible. Now, when you use your utility, guess what? You get your lightning elemental. Drop your bombs down. Oh, lo and behold, lo and behold, everything is out there. Like I said, although this is expert, and this guy is technically speaking not ready for it, doesn't really matter because You've got- the lightning elementals do a lot of work, to be honest. They are very, very helpful creatures. And you keep summoning and casting spells, lo and behold, you will get, um... Lovely dragons to assist you as well. I literally got two, so that's pretty nice. Is there anything left? Nope. Okay. So, what you want to be doing with this build is not just casting spells, but whenever you run low on mana, just mana surge as well. Because why? It gives you more creatures. You know, which gives you more power, and you just you just casting as much as you possibly can. It literally does not matter because you will always have more and more creatures going on. All right, now I'm a bit slower than I normally would be for this thing, but you at least get a silver rating, even you know, even just doing this solo. So I, I like this deck, and um, it's possible to get gold and hard, but I mean I'm obviously like overpowered for hard. I tried it with the Geomancer, and the Geomancer did not do as well as the um, as the uh, Mind Mage. I think the Mind Mage does so much better at this. Even though the Geomancer does get a double cast on his utility, which means two Lightning Elementals, you know, I still felt like um... oh, did I just miscast that spell? Nah, doesn't matter. Like I said, you'll just be casting left, right, and center, so don't don't even worry about it too much. Now you might think, well, Spellstorm would be great with this deck. Eh, I don't like Spellstorm. So this is a fun little deck that I made without Spellstorm specifically because I I felt it was super interesting to, to have some kind of deck that you can cast without being like dependent on Spellstorm. You know, to basically give you that power, you know. Not that there's anything wrong with Spellstorm, it's just that, you know, life's boring if you only got one thing to play around with. And, okay, I'll confess, I also don't know how to use Spellstorm well. Probably I don't have the right cards or the right, uh, stuff for it, but I just have no clue how to use it properly, so... I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna... Make my own thing. And I like making my own thing. In a lot of video games, I make my own thing because, you know, it, it presents an alternative. It works, it's not horrible. And if it gets me through the content and I like it, then it's good enough for me, you know? At least that's the way I see it, so... Sometimes I lose track of the cursor, that's the one thing I really wish they'd fix. Like, it'd be nice to be able to see my cursor consistently. No matter how crazy things get, I need to be able to see my cursor.
Yes, I've summoned my oozes. I've summoned my little oozy verts. begins to tremble as you can see this build like holds its own so there's nothing like much to worry about having so many creatures like the the benefit is that it just you know gives you it just gives you stuff <laughs> you know you want you want stuff done this is how you get it done it's helpful in so many ways And by continuously casting spells and bombarding everything, you know. Just get a lot of opportunities to be a badass. And basically, just to have a chance at more dragons, I will usually avoid casting... Um, creature spells unless they are dead or close to death and I know I'm gonna need another one soon then I'll I'll probably cast it otherwise I try to avoid that because you want more spells out and sometimes you want to take a little like moment to cast before you actually do because you know, number one it's smarter number two you don't actually want to miss out on good stuff and by continuously using your primary attack in between your spell casts and things like that, please don't forget that's actually also helping you summon creatures. You summon creatures with literally everything you do here, so that's what I thought was uh, really cool with this build. That's why I liked it so much. Because no matter what I was doing, creatures were coming out. Yes, sometimes they would die, but, you know, it wasn't like a big problem or anything. It was just, okay, my creatures are dead. I'm gonna get more. And the more they died, the more, you know, stuff happened in it. either way, so it's all good. Like, to me, it was all good. I used to have a big creature, like, green and red deck, and I thought that was, that was awesome, but then I realized it wasn't awesome. Because I very much preferred having other stuff. Sometimes when the numbers get overwhelming, I just run for a little bit. But the Mind Mage is good in that, you know. It explodes, it does stuff, it has the taunt. So that's really fucking useful. And you can dish out plenty of damage too, so. You never have to worry about that. Me personally, I'm just going to keep mana surging every single time. Summoning Phantasmagoria, getting dragons out. Like, it'll be worth a lot more. Like, the strength of this build really starts to shine once you got that, um... Once you have the thing with the creature cards, because that is when the other six creature cards are actually more helpful. Like, right now, they're honestly not that helpful, but... You still need them in your build, because they're, like, literally a part of your build. You can't do without them, you know? Remember, let your lightning elementals do the work. That's what they're there for. The one you want to make sure you're maintaining is always your goblin chief. Because he is so necessary to your damage. And every chance you get, mana surge, so you get even more mana. And cleanse them all. With tides of water. Don't be afraid to just cast as often as you need to. Use your use your abilities as often as you need to. Because again, you know, you're not worrying about anything. You're just you're literally just casting. As much and as often as possible. And 
And as you cast and get more and more dragons, that's where all the fun begins. I was lucky, I got an additional... I got an additional set of these guys coming out. But as you can see, like, it's pretty fun. Like, I like the fact that I can just take this on even though the, the Mind Mage is not really at that level yet. And I think that, all things considered, right, using his trait is going to get so crazy because the Geomancer's trait is not useful while creatures are, are alive and, you know, while you're not dead. It's useful once when you're dead. But to rely on it or even having it there, mm, I don't know, you know. I'm not like a huge fan, so... At first I thought it was it would be so cool, like, but then I realized it was it was predicated on the expectation that I would die. And I'm like, wait a second, no no. I should be I should be making builds where that is an impossibility, you know? There should be builds where like I do not die. Or at least that's the way I was thinking. And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know what? No, I cannot die. I must not die. I must go ham. I must go so ham that nobody else can stop me, man. That's how ham I must go. That's how the ham ham taro. And having all these retaliatory uses, yeah, see? You finish up solo, like, close to... If I had my rank 6 spells, I'm still using rank 5 spells. If I had my rank 6 spells, I could probably hit gold easily. Easily. You know? And full, if I fully upgraded the equipment, too. So, yeah, don't let it daunt you, because, you know, this build works. It works, and it is fun. You know, if you enjoy this, if you enjoy what I'm doing, then, you know, feel free to hop on and try it out. All right, thank you so much for watching this, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we're currently running a tip challenge as well. You, the tip link is in the YouTube uh, description of the YouTube video. You can feel free to like drop in um, any more, bleh, sorry, okay, starting that edit over again. Anyone who drops more than $5 goes into our sponsor listing whenever we get Vermintide 2 and all the content we make for that. Your name's going to be in all that, as well as the Twitch streams for the week, so look forward to that. And yeah, thank you so much. Don't forget to keep supporting, yo. Hit that sub button, and I'll see you soon.